Hi, it's Agnes and this is Neville Nugget number nine. And Neville says, your assumption to be effective cannot be a single isolated act. It must be a maintained attitude of the wish fulfilled. Frequent occupancy of the feeling of the wish fulfilled is the secret of success. So a little story to go with that. Years ago, I was driving a car and it had done like 300,000 kilometers and it was time to get rid of it. So I was using my imagination to imagine the car that I wanted. And I couldn't decide, I had three cars I wanted, a Volkswagen Jetta, a black one, and a Citroën, which was a French car, and also a BMW. Now I had in my head that I would get either the Jetta or the uh, French car first and the BMW would be some years later. I had made a decision I wanted to pay cash for this car. I did not want any debt and what I did was I would be driving to work in the current car that I had and I would draw on the steering wheel the symbol of Volkswagen or BMW or Citroën and I would just while I was in peak hour traffic just draw that, close my eyes for a second while the traffic wasn't moving and just, oh, I love this car. I love driving it. I love all the features. I love the smell of the leather. I love how the wipers come on automatically. I love, you know, the exterior. I love the wood grain paneling inside. And I would just bring out as many of the details as I could and just live in the wish fulfilled for that five, ten minutes. So I did that for about four months and um, then I started to go out and look at Volkswagen Jettas despite the fact that I didn't have the full amount of cash for this car. So what I did was I went and looked at one and then I went and looked at another one and you know they were black exterior and cream interior and the exteriors were okay, but the interiors weren't. So I was just continuing to do my living in the wish fulfilled and carrying the state of that during my day when I could. And then doing that thing as I was driving, because I was driving to different locations, working in the big Westfield shopping centers across Sydney at the time. So I was in the car sometimes for up to an hour on each journey. So I had lots of time to do this. So sometime later, my boss that I was I was working for someone at that time and he said to me after I asked him for some pay slips to prove my uh, income because at that stage I was still thinking maybe I'm going to have to get a loan because how am I going to manifest this money so I didn't trust my imagination enough to create the money but so I was kind of going back and forth. I don't know how I'm going to do this without a loan, but I'd love to have this car without the debt. So I continued to imagine these cars and my boss asks me what kind of car I want. And I said, um, you know, a, um, either a Jetta or, you know, a, a French car or a BMW or something at some point. Anyway, he said to me, oh, they're all European cars. And I thought, oh, yeah, they are. I didn't think of that. Anyway, he said to me while we were working together and we were working in a retail store and it was quite busy. He said to me, I'm going to Hong Kong and I've got a car for sale. Do you want to use it while I'm away? And if you really like it, you can buy it and I'll give it to you for a good price. And if you don't, that's fine. I'll sell it to someone else. Anyway, he disappears after that. The shop got busy and then he said, look, I've got to go. I'll bring you the car tomorrow. He didn't even tell me what the car was. The next day he shows up. We're closing the store at the end of the day. We go out into the car park and he goes beep, beep. And we walk over to this silver 318i BMW. And I was like, wow, like this car came to me. So I drove, I gave him my car. He took that home to get to wherever he needed to go. He went to Hong Kong for a month. I drove it around, absolutely loved it. And the incredible thing was I ended up attracting this job that I used to work one day a month for them and they paid me the whole 
They wanted me to work for one day a month for a whole year. So that was 12 times. But instead of paying me once a month just for the day, they paid me for the entire year. Hang on a sec. I'm just doing a YouTube. <laughs> so my partner's knocking at the door. Anyway, so I ended up, um, I did the, where am I? I've lost my train of thought now. Yeah, so he takes my car, I take his, I drive it for a month and then it ends up that I buy the car with the year's worth of income that they gave me, which was about $6,000. And then I paid off the rest with what I had in the bank and in installments after over the next three or four months. So what Neville says, living in the wish fulfilled and imagining it in the state as if you're already there at different times of the day, sustaining that state. If you can do that with little pockets here and there, it so, so helps. Now, I still drive this car today. When I'm in Sydney, it's the car that I have. I've had it for like seven years now. Now it's time to imagine the next car. But it was such a wonderful exercise to use the imagination, to live in the wish fulfilled, assuming I was already driving it. And I can honestly say I had no idea I was going to get that car first. I thought I would get the Jetta first and then I would get that one, you know, when I was older. But because I thought in my head, I can't afford that now. So it just goes to show when you let go of the limitations imposed that you impose in your own mind that you can let go and create something. And the thing was, I remember I actually did go to try and get a loan a couple of times and I was rejected. And I was rejected because I didn't want one. You can't get something that you don't want. I actually didn't want one, but I couldn't fully believe my imagination at the time. So it was a great, great lesson in bumping up my state of belief and learning to live in the wish fulfilled as Neville says and really really start to apply it to the things that I wanted some physical material thing like a car was a great place to start so there's your little Neville nugget for the day and hope you enjoy it and you can apply it to your situation with something that you want to manifest living in the state in the meantime okay lots of love